Thank you for viewing this inspirational tip from the American Sewing Guild. Here's a little tip to help when ruffling fabric with a ruffling foot. If you have never seen one, this is a ruffling foot. It is a crazy looking little contraption but works well and is lots of fun to use. This particular one attaches to the machine like a regular foot. This hook attaches over the screw on the needle bar. The ruffling foot works by advancing the fabric as each stitch is taken. As the needle goes up and down, the hook on the bar operates the foot to feed the fabric through the foot. On the bottom of the foot, you can see the teeth that catch the fabric and keep it stable as the fabric advances under the foot. There are also slots at the top of the foot. Each number represents the number of stitches that will be taken before a bite of the fabric will be taken. If slot 1 is selected, a fabric bite will be taken with every stitch. Lift and move the lever to the next slot and the sixth stitch, a fabric bite is taken to create a tuck or a gather. Move it to the next slot and 11 stitches will be taken and then on the 12th stitch the foot will bite the fabric. If zero is selected, no fabric bites will be taken. The screw at the front will determine how deep the bite of fabric will be. Tighten the screw and the ruffling foot will take a deeper bite of fabric to create a tuck. If you loosen the screw, less fabric will be taken in each bite. To attach the ruffling foot, remove the standard foot. Place the hook over the screw on the needle bar. Insert the foot onto the presser bar and clamp it in place. Use the hand wheel and check that the needle is in the correct position and that the ruffling foot is operating correctly. Adjust the ruffler to the desired slot for the number of stitches and then use the hand wheel to check once more. When using the ruffling foot, fabric is prepared and then slid under the foot. Lower the needle into the fabric and then lower the presser foot. Slide the fabric through the guide slot at the front and then stitch. What can cause problems is the fabric may feed unevenly, causing there to be more top or bottom fabric at the end of the fabric for the ruffle. Another thing that can happen is one or both layers of fabric may slip out of the guide slot as the stitching is done. If that happens, then we'd have to pull out all the stitches and start the ruffling process all over. Here's a little trick. Prior to ruffling the fabric with the foot, prepare the fabric by cutting the length needed, fold it in half lengthwise, and then run row of basting stitching along the cut edge. Do the stitching so the line of stitching will end up about the depth of the guide slot. Just baste the two layers together the entire length of the fabric strip to be ruffled. By doing this, the cut edges are secured together and the fabric can be put through the ruffling foot without the worry of the fabric layers separating or feeding unevenly as the fabric is gathered. Remove the standard foot and put on the ruffling foot. Draw up the bobbin thread and make sure both threads are under the ruffling foot. Now take the fabric strip that has been basted together, align it under the foot, lower the needle into the fabric, place the cut edge into the guide slot, Lower the presser foot and stitch. Now both layers of fabric will feed at the same rate and there is no worry of a twisted ruffle. The basting really makes using the ruffling foot so much easier. Be sure to cut ruffles longer than needed and trim to the size needed for the project after the ruffling is done and measured to the project.
a beautiful ruffle created in mere minutes by using the basting technique and a ruffling foot. Try this little tip to make sewing ruffles easier. Thank you for viewing this inspirational tip from the American Sewing Guild. Please visit our webpage, ASG.org.